So you know I'm very, very, very proud of my sports collection. So many things that I've gathered throughout the years, whether it's something that I found, something that an amazing fan gave to me as a gift, a friend. And now that I'm in this Marie Kondo minimalism, what brings joy, I've realized that some of the things that I've had no longer bring me joy. And as a matter of fact, it's about time that I decorate my house that it looks like a girl lives there. So I'm making the move. And there's going to be a select group of my products that I'm going to make available at a sports show and I'll be selling them. And what I'm going to do with the money is this. It's important that you all know how much joy all of these things have brought into my life. And especially those that have been bought to me by fans. Because not only do I think of the athlete, but I think of how kind it was for my fan to buy me this piece. So, I remember who bought me everything I have. Weird, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the list of people who have been kind enough to share these things with me and I'm going to reach out to them when their piece sells and I'm going to allow them to pick a charity of their choice and I'm going to make a donation to that charity. The money is going to be divided three ways. The first is going to go to the charity of choice to the fan or friend that bought me the sports memorabilia that I'm getting rid of. The second donation is going to go to my good friend Dave who lost his son three months ago and just started a foundation. And Dave and Jeff's podcast, everybody knows, my San Diego love, uh, such a big part of my life. And then the third, the joy that is left for me. I'm going to put it aside in an educational fund where I'm going to take time to maybe take my Italian lessons. Maybe I'll take my golf lessons. But whatever I do, you're going to know about it because it's going to be something that's going to bring a new joy into my life and hopefully a joy for everybody else. So, piece number one that we'll be going is Trevor Ariza. The old Trevor Ariza that I just played Monday night in DFS and still swags out for me once in a while. And it's like I'll be setting my lineup and this jersey will look at me and I'll go, tonight's a Trevor Ariza night. And there he goes. He lays down like 53 points on DraftKings. So, there's some love. But at the same time, I want to look at Michael Jordan there. So, I'm going to take the Michael Jordan from above my fireplace and I'm going to put it because why the fuck, no offense Trevor Ariza, but why am I looking to you for inspiration? I mean, come on, this is MJ's spot. So MJ is moving there, Trevor Ariza is moving out. Let's go look at the rest. Right up here we have Dan Marino. Dan Marino is going to take part in this awesome three-part situation. Dan Marino is going to be giving me space to potentially put up something like a mirror where I can look at myself as I'm walking out the door. Over here, Joe Namath, legendary career, NFL star. On my wall, having every dude look at me like, what? Joe Namath will be part of this. Over here, we're gonna move into some hockey. Super random, I know. There's a Pennsylvania theme going on here if you haven't noticed. Mark Fleury. Mark Fleury, who had an excellent season last year, taking the uh, Vegas Knights all the way to the end. And now Mark Fleury is going to uh, make someone else very, very happy. And then up here, I try to spruce it up with an orchid so it looks somewhat feminine. My favorite of all favorites would be Franco Harris. There's a statue inside Pittsburgh Airport, and everybody that knows me knows that I posed with that statue every time I flew in and out of Pittsburgh. My last trip, I was able to pose with the Franco Harris jersey next to the Franco Harris statue. All of these brought me a lot of joy, but the freedom to bounce, the feeling of knowing that I can't go anywhere with all this big stuff, I'm ready to just feel that and share my joy with someone else while raising some money for charity and maybe learning something. So here we go, more details to come.